How many of you in the past, you prepared like a kit for a web page you were working on that you wanted to feed into Mech Labs AI so that it would have enough context to give you the best answers? Or you were researching competitors, or you've tried even to do that in Google, but it brings back summaries. You may have noticed that it doesn't actually scrape the whole page, so you can't get the information you need. Same problem if you use, you know, Bing and GPT. I'm going to a new expert, which is actually an app. Some of you know what I'm saying. As apps are released, this will be moved over to the app column. It's called Analyst Web Pages. Bill, this pick a business category. Book publishing. All right. Let's see. There is Author's Hike. Anybody familiar with Author's Hike? I've never heard of them. All right. So now let's try this first of all. Let's go back to a web pages. Let's paste this in. We'll start that going. While that is going, let's take a look at this one for a moment. Here's the headline. So it's gone to that page that I typed in. It's gathered the headline. It's got the CTA. It's got core pricing, value proposition, main evidentials. And it's giving you a list of ways Mech Labs can improve the page. Let's assume that you're showing this to a friend. Where would you go from here? Let's suppose you really want to help them. You're not just like showing off something. You pull up their web page and already knows all this about them. You want to give them immediate advice that could help them. What's your next prompt? How many of you sometimes don't know which expert to use? All right. While you're, I'm watching, what's the weakest element of this page? Conversion Pro, somebody said. I'm watching chat come in. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go to team lead. Do you see that? I'm going to say, which expert do I use to improve this page? That's a place to start sometimes. Well, let's just click in here and we're going to see what happens. Now, recommended expert, Conversion Pro. It's recommending copywriter landing pages. It just used analysts and marketing professor. It's telling you a strategy for using them to improve. Can you see your strategy? Start with Conversion Pro, get a holistic view of the current conversion. And then it says, this would include optimizing CTAs in the overall structure, then collaborate with copywriter. And it's telling you what to do. Let's try something else. Let's go a step further. Let's just go to copywriter landing pages. And I'm just gonna say, re, write this page. How many of you would like to be able to have prompts that are three words long? And by the way, I've been saying this over and over again, apps, libraries, experts. Let's look up here. This is really an app. Right now we don't have a place for apps. I didn't type anything except a domain name in. That's one of the ways you know it's an app. You just boom, and it goes to work. But now we're going to an expert. I'm going to take a real expert, copywriter landing pages. He knows the eight micro yeses. I'm going to simply say rewrite this page. Original, and now it's rewriting. There's the original, there's the rewritten, there's the headline. Let's look at the rewritten headline. Make your mark in the literary world with our award-winning publishing service. Here's your subheadline. Introduce the subheadline, providing a direct incentive or benefit reinforcing the headline. Micro yes three. There's detail the offer with clarity. There's the original. There it is rewritten. There's enhanced trust for micro yes four. There's the evidentials. Here it is rewritten. Voted the number one publishing company by authors nationwide. A testament to our commitment to reflect the status of over 3,500 authors. Stuart, aren't you in some version of this kind of business? Um, I'm taking strong notes and just running the same on our website at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send you a check later. <laughs> Wait, that's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> but let's talk for a second. I have just rewritten a web page. What would you do right now? What's the next prompt? Somebody tell me, what should we be prompting next? Would you like me to tell you like freestyle what I would be doing right now? Shall I tell you where I'd go next? Please. Almost all failure begins with something wrong I believe about myself. Almost all of the failure that I believe about myself, the wrong failure is self-deception. 
Where I am typically most deceived is about the depth of my understanding of the other person. If my biggest weakness is self-deception, which is, by the way, why I don't perceive value right, which is why I make bad decisions, not because I can't do the math, it's because I perceive the value wrong. If this is also true, then my biggest area of self-deception is in the fact that I think I understand the other, the other person. How many of you found that in marriage, that's the case? I tell young men that it took me 15 years to figure out the first rule of marriage. And here it is. I'm an idiot. So what do I go when I see this page? I can't judge it right now. I'll tell you why I can't judge it right. Here's why. I don't know enough about the customer period. Please, let's go deeper as it relates to the customer. Help me identify those segments which would be most attracted to this particular offer period. Did you notice how I started that prompt? Did you notice that when you talk to a friend, you tell them how you feel? When you talk to an acquaintance, you tell them what you did, what you saw. You ask them questions. But when we are building a connection, we tell people the place we're at, where we feel, where we are. How did I start this prompt at? I just said, I don't know enough about the customer. That's how I felt inside. I didn't try to figure out a fancy prompt. I figured the LLM will figure out a lot from that statement. And I have discovered the better I am at helping it get a clear goal, the better it is at helping me get a good answer. So now it's gone deeper. And it said, Aspiring authors, self-published authors, genre-specific authors, experienced authors with back catalogs, authors looking for comprehension. Listen to me carefully. I don't know which one to pick, period. These segments look good, period. But I need you to help me figure out where to focus first. Have you ever asked yourself this question? Why is it that when you're having a conversation with an LLM, it goes better than when you're slowing down to type everything? Well, when I have a conversation, like as I'm having, and I start talking about how I'm feeling, at the scientific level, here's what's happening. I'm providing all sorts of subtle cues to the LLM that may not be as easy for me to say in a single word. It can detect if I'm discouraged, for instance, and it does, and it will even encourage you. Watch. I've trained it to do that. So my point for you is when this begins... I'm using the LLM not just to get an answer, but to shake something loose inside of me, the answers I already have that I don't know. And that happens better in a conversation. I was asking for the prompt that you're going up to right now. Just yeah. go on up to that prompt. So I went up here and I said, I don't know which one to pick. Look, it said, think about market size and growth, alignment with my value proposition, accessibility and reach, where can I find them? So I'm going to ask it this question. You pick, but also tell me where are the top three places to find these segments, period. So now we'll get it to start thinking about the top three places to find these segments. I'm going to go to Conversion Pro. Aspiring authors as a primary customer segment for strategic focus because it's going to tell me why. Top three places to find them. Writing platforms and communities, social media writing groups, writing workshops and conferences. I'm going to say, these are good ideas, but everybody knows these ideas, period. Come up with something wildly creative, period. Surprise me, period. Now, I didn't go back to type in the word surprise. And if I said wildly creative and surprise me, why did I say both? I'm stacking contextual cues, signals. You're hearing a conversation, but I'm stacking signals in language that give it a better understanding. Offers journey, augmented reality experience. That's interesting. A write-off, live stream series with celebrity mentors. Now we're going somewhere, guys. Wow. Stories future, podcast series with predictive analytics. Implementation and strategic foresight. And I'm going to say something like, this is a good idea. Give me 10 more. Now, the reason I'm sharing this sort of journey with you is because a lot of times on these calls, we sort of get almost there and we have to stop. This is what I'd be doing. If I really want to get that page better for writers, I want to understand the customer better. Now I've got virtual uh, writing retreat, flash fiction competition on social media, collaborative writing blockchain project, interactive story maps online, AI assisted writing feedback tool. On it goes. I'm getting somewhere here. I can do something with it. 
I might even get some customers with these kinds of ideas. Behind the scene publishing docuseries, serialized social novels, annual future writing summit. These are the kinds of ideas that should be shaking loose something inside of me. And that's what I'm looking for. The change isn't going to happen here. Something in here is going to get jarred loose. It's going to click. And I'm going to realize that's it.